Welcome to GV Global, where we bring you the latest GV news from around the world. September was very busy for our subsidiary, GV France. They organized a road show to promote our new V37 side cases and decided to participate in two major events. The first one was the Alps Adventure Moto Festival in Barcelonette, near the beautiful Mercantour National Park in southern France. The event was a big meeting for all the aficionados of adventure riding, with organized rides on and off-road, special navigation tests with the support of road books, and several test rides organized by major manufacturers. The second event was the world-famous Boldor, the 24-hour endurance race at the prestigious Paul Ricard Circuit of Lake Castellet. It's a huge event that draws a massive crowd of race fanatics from France and many countries in Europe. This year, a total of 79,000 spectators filled the stands on race day, making the Boldor one of the largest events of its kind in the old continent. In Italy, GV supported our local dealer, Ostinel, who set up a booth at the Hard Alpi Tour event, starting from San Remo. This non-competitive ride can be very challenging because it's divided into three categories, Discover, Classic, and Extreme, and the riders can be asked to ride non-stop for 16, 36, or even 42 hours on dirt and pavement, camping out in the Southern Alps, and finding their way back to San Remo. The Hard Alpi Tour is always fun for riders and spectators, but this year was even more special because Yamaha decided to debut their highly anticipated Tenier 700 off-road machine, taking advantage of the amazing backdrop of Northwestern Italy. Host of the unveiling ceremony was GV-supported rider and enduro and Dakar legend Alessandro Batori, who also led the group on the race course aboard the new motorcycle. Check out the video, it really makes you want to be there. Another fun event attended by GV was the 7th Honda PCX Club Indonesia meeting in East Jakarta. The rally attracted more than 600 riders and PCX owners from all over the country, and it was co-sponsored, among many others, by Honda Motor, the Association of Honda Dealers, and the Honda Association of Indonesia. GV was present with a nice booth managed by our flagship store, GV Point Serpong. Bittersweet week for all GV-sponsored teams and riders in MotoGP. The weekend, Aragon started in the best possible way with Jorge Lorenzo setting the fastest time and getting his third straight pole position on Saturday. Unfortunately, Jorge crashed at the very first turn on race day and not only compromised his race, but influenced the result of Cal Crutchlow aboard the team LCR Honda. The Briton had a good jump at the start, but he had to break and swerve not to be involved in Lorenzo's crash and subsequently found himself sucked deep in the pack. He tried hard to make up time, so hard that he also crashed and put an end to his Spanish GP hopes. Their bad luck was counterbalanced by extremely good performances by their respective teammates. Andrea De Vicioso aboard the other factory Ducati closed the race in second position after a hard fought battle with eventual winner Marc Marquez. The race result was uncertain until the very last lap. It was a great show for the fans watching from all over the world. Takaki Nakagami, teammate of Crutchlow on the other team, LCR Honda, also had a good weekend, returning from Aragon with a solid 12th place finish, matching his season best so far. In Peru, the HRC Monster Energy Honda Rally Team extended their streak to three consecutive victories after the wins at the Atacama Rally and the Desafio Ruto 40. Paolo Concalves once again took the checkered flag with a dominant win at the Desafio Inca Rally, part of the FIM World Cross Country Rallies Championship. The Portuguese rider had a spectacular final day where he was able to keep a mistake-free pace, regaining more than three minutes on his rivals and securing a spectacular triumph. It was a very good team effort as Kevin Benavides won the second stage of the competition and young Chilean Jose Ignacio Cornejo rode to a good third on the opening, closing the rally fourth overall. The championship now leaves South America and moves to Africa. Fifth and final round will be the Moroccan Rally next week. Here at GV, we not only sponsor teams and races, sometimes we take pride in supporting initiatives that reach far beyond the motorcycle industry and celebrate the life and achievements of outstanding individuals. In the case of Mr. Santana Das, a rider from Malaysia that decided to embark on a solo ride across three countries on his Yamaha R25. Santana, who is a single-handed rider, will spend a total of 14 days on the road to be the new record holder in the Guinness Book under the Human Achievements category for the longest distance single-handed motorcycle ride. Before leaving, Mr. Doss delivered a meaningful message that resonates deeply within the special needs community. Disability is not a barrier to get hooked on any impossible projects, and what truly matters are the passion and planning towards it.
It's time for this week's product spotlight. This week we have the B360 Monolock Top Case. Watch this. GV is known for their high-end Italian design, strong technological attitude, and knowledge of materials. GV's lineup of monolock top cases are designed for the casual rider. For the mid-sized models in this range, you've got the B360NA and NTA. Perfect for the commute to work or even a little day trip. Starting with the B360NA, you're working with a 36 liter storage capacity. That's plenty of room to store a full face helmet and have a good amount of space left over for your lunch, a change of clothes, or any other small items you might need on the fly. The shell is made of a lightweight, flexible polypropylene that doesn't weigh your bike down, but still gives you plenty of durability to protect your cargo. For visibility in low light conditions, the B360NA's red reflector lens makes you stand out instantly to anybody that might be sharing the road during a nighttime drive. This top case also comes with an optional passenger backrest to ensure a comfortable ride for your companion when you're not traveling solo. A Micro One Lock uses a spring-loaded mechanism that keeps its content safe when you leave your vehicle unattended. Like all monolock cases, you've got a universal mounting bracket and hardware that lets you install the case on any flat surface on your bike. This top case is also available in a tech model, the B360 NTA, which has most of the same specs from its 36 liter capacity to the monolock mounting system. The difference here is style. If red reflectors aren't your thing, you've got a smoke version here for a clean, unique look. Thank you for watching this edition of GV Global, where we bring you the latest GV news from around the world. And don't forget to subscribe to our GV YouTube channel to be notified when the next episode will be online.